14 months ago on a Monday in January, over 60 federal employees went to work like they always did at the Roosevelt Federal Building in downtown St. Louis. Except on that Monday, they didn't come home. In a truck parked in front was hidden 50 pounds of C4 plastic explosive. When it was detonated, it disintegrated the entire street side of the building, obliterating dozens of government offices, the building's daycare center, and the St. Louis branch of the Internal Revenue Service, which was ultimately determined to be the target of the attack. The truck was leased by this 33-year-old electrician, Dean Scobie. Scobie had served some prison time for tax evasion, and surveillance video showed that he was inside the vehicle, leaving him among the 63 dead. Does anyone not remember this? We all remember the results of the investigation. They said Scobie acted alone. One man, no conspirators. Right? He uh, cheated the IRS. They caught him at it, so he blew him up. This is a guy who people described as average, friendly. He, he had been in the Army, but as a radio man. He had very little uh, experience with munitions. His parents considered him a moderate conservative. And, and two weeks prior to this, he received a pay raise at his electrician's job. Does that sound like a man who's on the edge or a man who needed to push? Huh? Come, come on, I don't know. I'm just asking. Come on, Professor. I mean, the feds, they did this huge investigation. Oh, that's right, an investigation. I forgot. Well, the investigation didn't satisfy me. Miss O'Neill, when you first heard the news, terrorist attack in your own country. How did that make you feel? Mm. Come on. Well, uh, what, <laughs> what did you feel? Angry, scared, and stressed. Mm -hmm. Did you feel safe? No. And then the next day, when they found Scobie dead, did you feel some relief? Did safety return? People in that building, they felt safe, secure, just like you feel now. And then an instant later, in an instant, they were gone forever. needed to have this man to blame. We don't want others. We want one name, and we want it fast, because it gives us our security back. We can say, here was the one man, unlike the rest of us. We named him, and he's He's no more, and his reasons, they're gone too. But the truth is, we, we don't know his reasons. We don't know why Scobie did it, why it came to this. We can pretend we do, the 10 grand in taxes, but we don't know, and we'll never know. And still, we feel safe, <laughs> because we know his name. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I promise to give. I promise to give. Friendship.